Brandy Davison here. I'm a design team member with Coco Daisy and today I am here to unpack all of these amazing goodies from the October Flannel and Frost um, kit collection and this little card you get one like this um, every month in your box of happy um, kind of shows you exactly what you're getting into with the color scheme and the kind of the overall theme of the kit so I've got a few to unpack so I'm gonna go pretty quick so that this is not a 20 minute video although that seems to be happening each month so uh, a few here to go through so I'm gonna push these guys aside and I'm gonna start with my most favorite one which is the classified so this is the one where you get a little sign on there you get a little sneak peek a sneak peek of it online but you often don't get to see the full kit so Gosh, I love it. And it's always really, it matches everything that's already in here. So, oh wow, this is exciting. Okay, let's start here. These are from Park Park Bench Alpha's Beautiful Day by Hello Heather. Pretty little studio. So hopefully there's not too much glare there. I'll try and turn it a little bit. So really, really great alphas and some awesome arrows in there. And I also see it has numbers. So that is perfect. Really cute. A nice wood grain there. Perfect for fall. There is also some puffy stickers from Cozy Days Simple Stories. Let me make sure I'm getting that all in for you. Super cute. Lots of really fall themed. Love them. And there's your great puffy. There is a Feels Like Fall phrase stickers. There's 42 fall words. And this is also a pretty little studio. And a really great orange. That is perfect. Oh, love it. Some gold cut apart um, labels. I'll turn that a little so you can see how bright they are. I'm telling you, gold and fall colors are just perfect. So that's a pretty little studio. And then this fantastic piece of vellum. So that is nice, beautiful vellum, orange color, a darker orange, and this is feeling reminiscent um, from the Feels Like Fall collection from Pretty Little Studio. So that's really fun. So I think that's like pretty easy to imagine a page just like that. That's gonna be really good. Can't wait to use those little puppies. So that is the classified kit. I'll move that guy aside. Then let's go through the memory keeping sticker kit. If I can find where it's closed. I think it's there, there we go. So I haven't opened these yet, so you're getting it like totally fresh. All right. So in this guy, you get a little alpha in a fantastic, I don't know, is that cornflower blue? Anyway, it goes fantastic with orange. Um, and as well, these little phrases that I love to pop onto the labels that you get with the sticker collection or the other kits. And you get these clear stickers, which look so good. Make your own little baby project life cards or pocket cards, whatever you want to call them. That little hedgehog is adorable. Some phrases, numbers, and um, some washies and some circles. I always use all my circles every month. They are so good. Flip this over. Got some great squares, uh, or I guess they're rectangles of the fall pieces. You've got your labels and then some more awesome washi. And these, if you know, are the same size, pop one of these clear stickers on top and you've got a pattern background for a little card. Again, same idea here. This one stands alone. You could, well, any of these could, but yeah, you can use your clear stickers and these other pieces to really, really dress them up. So love that. Love the washi on the bottom. And then some little baby labels, super cute. And then some little stickers there. Look at that hedgehog. Seriously, couldn't be any cuter. Love it. And then another alpha sheet. So really love that. And you can see just even like if you were to do kind of a big title, how great that would look with all of those in there. So that is the memory keeping sticker kit. So off, really great one to or augment any of the other kits that you get. I really love getting this one. Okay, we also got here. This is the Traveler's Notebook um, memory keeping kit. And I usually untie these before I get going here. So try and be quick about it. So don't me rustle around too much. Lots of goodies. Oh my gosh, a brown Le Pen. These are my favorite pens in the world. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have a brown one. I've never had a brown before. Anyway, yay. Um, and a, this is a wood veneer, very dark wood grain, wood veneer, wood grain washi. This is gonna get used a lot on all the things. Love that. So let's fan this out a little. You get your uh, layout ideas, sketch ideas, your idea thing here. Again, hole punch those when you get them, start a little binder, and it's so great to be able to go back to these little tricks and tips. Some fantastic 
patterns. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. That is crazy. And there's going to be two of each one. So I'll just fan these out a little. And then what I will do is I will flip these front ones over, as you can see. So this is going to be the patterns in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. Check that out. Oh my wow. Like, come on, seriously? I cannot wait to use that. And I just, uh, I love that. I love crosses but I also love X's so you can kind of turn that a little so that's gonna be just super fun I'm really excited about those patterns Ooh, and it goes so good with my Le Pen all right we got some alphas in that kind of like charcoaly blue gray color that goes so well with orange love these these are a puffy sticker so you get some good dimension without bulk so perfect for a traveler's notebook then we've got our chipboards. Make sure you can see all of that there. Love that blue infused in here. Really, really love it. And the chipboards have good dimension, but good traveler's notebook dimension. So again, you get that little bit of pop, but you're not looking at a really bulky book. So they really know how to do it. Look at these puffies, you guys, come on. Wow, wow, wow. And they are like puffy goodness. Again, not too much dimension, but really good texture on each of them. Those are going to be so fun. And you can see those same shapes infused in all the other pieces. This is the Traveler's Notebook for this month. And I'll just try and flip through this pretty quick. So you can see the pattern papers carry through. Plus you've got a bunch of graph or lined or dot graph papers in there. For all your journaling or those plain pages. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Love, oh we've got to look at the center, the center page. And couple of words on there, a lot of colors, love that plaid, Ooh, look at that blue with orange, that's going to be great, love that. Just looking at these colors, I bet I have got some pieces from the Serengeti collection that I could actually bring into this, and I just want to flip back to that one, look at that, how cool, perfect for fall, right, not too Halloween-y, if you're not oh, super into like major theme, that would be just fantastic. And then we've got the matching tag, which is always just a fantastic way to title your traveler's notebook. I've got some more little alphas here, right? So same, same concept as the ones that we've seen in the sticker kit, different color, which I love. So you can mix and match and that just looks really great. I was excited to get these. The classic glitter enamel dot of Coco Daisy amazingness, love it. Oh, love that there's a nice, great like yellow one in there. These are the stamps, seriously. Those are fantastic. I feel like I need to do like a white layout with like stamped all of the edges, almost like a, the border of a page with this one in like tones of brown or something. Hmm. <laughs> Lots of ideas. And then this here is the little die cuts that come with it. So I'll just try and zoom in on there without too much glare, but lots of little phrase stickers, a couple arrows there, another little tag, and then some labels, and of course a few circles, which always make my heart very happy. So those are really great, and you can see just the good mix of colors there. So that is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. Fantastic, I'll slide this beauty to the side here, and we'll get going on another one. This here is going to be the planner kit. You can always tell by the post-it notes and the beautiful pen each month. Pull all these beauties out. And this is the plan and create planners kit. All right, let's just get going. Oh my gosh, look at this plaid pen. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't like to pull it out of the box until I actually use it. Even though I'm, you guys are all very special for this unboxing, that's an important moment. <laughs> Very cute. Um, and there's always, just to show you, there's always a couple of extra inserts for each of the pens as well. So they, they can bring you joy for a really long time. Here is the washi, and hopefully that gold is coming through. It is a plaid infused with what would be, I guess, the equivalent of like a gold thread. So very cool and very gold, really, really bright. And, a, and a, like a true gold. So, all right, let's try these guys. These are the little die cuts that come. And they don't have the pictures of them on the back, so I'm going to just quickly pour them into one of my little guys here. And just spread them out so you can sort of get an idea. Lots of the tabs and a few little pumpkins and some words. And of course, a sunflower, because why wouldn't you? And where's a little hedgy? Let's find him in here. And a hedgehog. Look at that heart. Super cute. And this month, the packaging is a fantastic wood grain. Remember to use your packaging. It's my favorite thing just pile those all in there. 
The little post-it notes this month are this fantastic leaf. Love that. Those would just look good. Even, like Think about that on a 12 by 12 layout. Tucked a few sort of curled up. You could 100% use those on a layout as an embellishment. Challenge accepted. Here is the paper clip this month. Love that leaf. Super cute. Okay, what should we do next? Some more of those fantastic puppies. So same idea. So I've got two packages because I've got two kits. That is what I love. Like their key item that is something like this that is in a few of the packages means you like, you don't have to hoard it. You can just use it as you feel you want to. Extra little secret package in here. Some twine. So black and white. Really good contrast to all the browns in here. Love that. A couple of tags to play with. Some mixed media. Play with those a little and then put a sticky note on it. That is cute. I love those leaves. That'd be cool to recreate. And then there's the cute little goodies. In a sec. Yeah, so I showed you the pens there. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. That is a fantastic pad. Oh my gosh, that is so, so, so cute. I love that. Think of that like four things a day. Don't ever make any more than that on your to-do list. We've got our little baby labels for this month bottom bucket list hello October October goals very cute and here's some more planner stuff with our dates little words and then some more planner stickers around all the things that happen in real life right <laughs> and then some um, cool little baby label stickers there that change every month depending on what's happening so I love that that's really cute the papers in the planner kit this month I will just fan these out for us Making sure there's three so that there hopefully you can see those that's that great wood grain I got to show you that whole thing because it's so cute look at that and then let's flip that over fantastic look at that oh yeah I got a big one yes that's happening right there and then this one I just love this that sketch look super super pretty and then the planner um, travelers notebook which is the size that I pick there's all kinds of sizes so whatever suits your fancy um, I just prefer a traveler's notebook and just think, I don't know, they're just cute. I find them less intimidating than some of the other bigger planners. And you can see here that each week there's going to be something fun along the top. It's going to be a bit color-coded. The, the middle is always like a great fun page here. Lots of writing, journal about your month, whatever that needs to look like. You know, put some photos in there, some memory keeping in your traveler, in your planner. Do, do, do. Just flip through this guy really quick here for you. Love that sunflower, that watercolor look. Oh, put, put a photo over that right there. No offense, Coco Daisy, but you know what I mean? Like that's like a perfect page right there. So that's really cute. So very fun. So that is that. So that there is the planner kit. And again, I do the traveler's notebook version. Um, so that's the size that I've got there. So I'll just slide this guy to the side. We've got one more kit to go through. Last but definitely not least is the pocket kit. Look at all these goodies. All right, check this out. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's start at the back this time. So these are those patterns that we saw in the TN memory keeping kit, right? Uh, you get one uh, set each with this one, so the same ones, and I'll just show you though that B side again. Oh, that buffalo plaid is so great. Look at that really really cute just really excited to use these that one right there is going to be the first one I grab I guarantee it all right uh, another set of puffy alpha so the same font that we saw before which is a classic for each month and they just these letter they just nestle so nicely together oh I just love it and this is in that orange color so not the same color right so you can see that this is a bit different the other one we have is charcoal but you could bring them all into one so just really if you get more than one kit um, it's it's okay like there's you get so much different product and so much complementing product that it's like you're just getting one big kit this is the chipboard again good dimension but not so di so much dimension that you're worried about your you know your album covers or your sheet protectors those fantastic puffy stickers oh I can't wait to like oh layer those up here is the stamp in the pocket kit this month I love this look at those little baby leaves to build in those other ones would be so much fun and I love anything for texture like this is just fantastic oh cute arrow I don't know if you can see but look at that little acorn seriously very cute all right got the tag that goes with this kit 
We have our little die cuts. I'll show those to you again here. I'm so glad there's always a few circles. I'm telling you, they're just the little thing. When I think something's missing in a spot, it's always a circle for me. I'm not sure, what is it for you? Again, as I'm holding enamel dots, more circles, it's usually that. Oh wow, they're sequins, look at this. Oh my gosh, so they're like, um, like a matte yellow because you can see the packaging is shiny, but the sequin, the actual yellow sequins in a couple of sizes are not shiny, they're matte, but the leaves in here, the true gold leaves are shiny. So it's just like the perfect little mix for fall. Exactly perfect. Oh, I can't wait. And then there's these fantastic gold leaves and I need to just pop one out of here to show you because I'm not gonna do it justice trying to describe it to you. They're vellum with gold, if that, hold one of those up so look at that and you can see through it so you can see the vellum they got great stu structure to them they have a bit of texture right like that embossing texture and there's multiple shapes how great are those oh those are gonna be good all right these are all the pocket cards so we'll pop through these and then we'll wrap it up thank you so much if you're still with me i know there's so many goodies it's just like mm, i get so excited you can probably hear how excited my voice is. I start to get all. All right, here we go. Autumn. Love it. Oh, that is like the perfect line distance for me for journaling. I find if I go smaller, you can't tell my writing's as messy as it is. I'm not really sure that's how it works out, but this is my theory. Oh, that other one that has like the leaves on it, that would be so great to sketch in the branches like this one to really just like make it so personal. October, love that. October favorites. I like that there's always one like that each month. It's such a good reminder to pause and think about your favorites. That kind of grateful concept. All right, so we got autumn colors. Rainy day. Ugh, I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Let me tell you, I know about rainy days. It's rainy here for six months. It's fall, y'all. Loving those pumpkins. Those are exactly the pumpkins I want on my front porch this year. <laughs> Let us see if I get that organized. <laughs> Fall favorites. And I just love too that these cards are such a good prompt. You know, we're all trying to document our story or our days. And it, sometimes, you know, you sit down and you wanna tell a story and you're just not sure where to start. The thing I love about these cards is just, you know, grab one and start that way. Find, find the photo or not even in the memory that, you know, the card inspires you to write down. And just go for it. We all need a prompt every once in a while. Love it. So cute. Oh, sorry, I was almost gonna pass that. I was so excited about this sunflower. Isn't that pretty? Remembered and recorded. Oh, my favorite. Rise and grind. <laughs> Monday should be optional. I agree. Oh, I love that. The orange on the wood grain, that's fantastic. October mood. Oh, cute. A closer look. Love it. The little glasses. That's super sweet. Leggings, leaves, and lattes, please. Yep, pretty much that's it. All right, that there is the pocket memory keeping kit. So loads of goodies there for pocket creating. I don't use pocket pages. I'm a 12 by 12 girl with some traveler's notebook popped in there. Um, and this is fantastic for 12 by 12 creating. So Stay tuned for the rest of the month as I start playing with all these fantastic goodies, um, sharing them up on my own social media, but of course also on the Coco Daisy blog, inspiration, new inspiration there every day and on our Instagram and on our Facebook fan page. Um, yeah, lots of good things. Check out what you think of these kits. Love to see you subscribe. And definitely, um, if you do mention my name as um, any of us designers that you, that you love to watch and see our enabling, mention our name and there's a wee gift in it there for you, a little goodie from from the Coco Daisy team. So thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful fall.